in order to buy a, a, a web hosting for your business for your website what you need to do is you first need to visit my blog which is www.digitaldumdum that is dumdum.com right and as soon as you land on the home page you will see this banner over here it says the save 40% off so uh, almost every web hosting company they do run occasional discounts and offers um, especially during black fridays and basically in octobers novembers and decembers so uh, right now uh, they are offering web hosting at a 40% discount and not only that but i have mentioned over here that they are also offering a free domain right that is again an additional cost usually that you have to incur but right now they are offering it for free and i believe it is free for one year which is still good uh, then they are offering free ssl certificate and free domain email id as well unlike your traditional gmail and yahoo ids these will offer you a domain email id like uh, info at the rate digitaldumdum.com not info at the rate gmail.com right now if you compare if you compare this web hosting with uh, rest of the web hosting companies uh, the benefit of going with dream host is this is very very cheap as compared to the rest first the second is this is an old company and they are trusted they are reliable and the third factor is that they offer the best service the best customer support even after sales so this is like really really good uh, to go ahead with and not only that but they are offering other benefits like domain like ssl which is also usually a cost and domain email ids which is also usually a cost they are offering all these things for free with their hosting plans uh, the other popular ones are like siteground and bluehost and all but they are far more expensive probably three times more expensive and you probably will have to pay an additional amount for domain for ssl and for uh, email ids so over here with dreamhost you get all these things for free and at a lower cost in a lower package so let's go ahead and click this banner it takes us to dreamhost website simply scroll down and you can access any of these like for example you will see wordpress hosting which is starting at 2.59 dollars per month it's still very cheap it's nothing A website hosting starting at 2.59 dollars per month very much similar let's go ahead with website hosting uh, instead of uh, wordpress hosting but i believe both will be the same so once we arrive on this page will get a lot of options and here we can compare the various features now as you can see that for 2.95 dollars per month they are offering one website okay so we can host one website on the server so let me remind you that this is a shared server and a shared starter one okay uh, and this is for mainly entry level for new websites and this does include wordpress so wordpress is a free software a free cms which can be added to any hosting okay so there is no additional cost so you can host just one website but you will get a free domain it says free domain included this is only for one year okay uh, you have unlimited traffic okay unlimited or unmetered bandwidth bandwidth means how much traffic your website can handle at a given time not per day not per month but if all of them visit your website uh, at the same time then how many visitors can it handle without crashing down uh, then you have fast ssd storage which is an add on which is very good you have pre installed wordpress that is also good uh, but we can install it later also and that is absolutely free the biggest advantage is you get free ssl certificate can you see this ssl certificate ssl means secured sockets layer ssl means secured sockets layer you get a free ssl certificate and what happens is when you install ssl certificate your uh, traditional urls go from http to https protocol look at this can you see a green padlock which says https right that means it is secured this website is secured the connection is secured and believe me this is a very huge ranking factor when it comes to seo search engine optimization google gives a lot of weightage to this factor when it ranks your listing your website in its search results you will get a better position if you have an ssl certificate okay and in fact ssl certificate is mandatory for uh, any website which has uh, transactions involved like a banking website 
or uh, e-wallets. So SSL is mandatory for such kind of websites. So having an SSL certificate keeps the connection secured, uh, secured from the hackers, and uh, it's it adds more trust to your website. Add email. Now it says add email as low as one point six seven dollars per month. Here you'll have to purchase domain email ID. But what I need you to do is simply scroll up and can you see shared starter you'll find this arrow click the arrow and here you will find shared unlimited when you select this you get almost all the features unlimited features and at the same price look at this 2.95 and that is why i am suggesting dream host to you let's go back click the arrow shared starter shared starter so 2.95 dollars per month okay and you get only one website you get you don't get domain email ids for free right you'll have to pay 1.67 dollars per month but if you switch to shared unlimited you get unlimited websites you can host unlimited website not just one but many websites and you also get uh, unlimited email so i can create info at the rate digitaldumdum.com uh, support at the rate digitaldumdum.com admin at the rate digitaldumdum.com right so on and so forth now apart from these you get uh, 24 by 7 support you get uh, wordpress website builder but that is uh, available by default so you don't have to worry about this as well as the free migrations and all not important right now but the important part is i'm getting unlimited websites basically i can host unlimited websites i can uh, get a free domain uh, and unlimited traffic unlimited bandwidth uh, I'm getting free SSL certificate and unlimited email IDs just for $2.95 a month. That is a really good deal. Uh, and if you compare DreamHost with SiteGround, with Kinsta, with Bluehost, like these are some well-known and uh, most reliable web hosting uh, companies, you will notice that DreamHost is offering you far more features as compared to the rest of the three and at a lower cost in fact the lowest cost would be by dreamhost there are some others as well like big rock and hostgator and uh, hostinger but these are all like uh, they don't offer good customer support and the performance of the website also won't be that fast these are like reliable ones this one is a very reliable one and very very fast because of the fast ssd so uh, i'll go ahead and uh, sign up for this because this is sufficient in fact this is more than sufficient for me but if you feel that uh, you still want better features or more functionality then you can go ahead and try out uh, this one which is dream press and uh, vps uh, as well a virtual private servers basically a dedicated server um, just make sure that you go through these drop downs as well just check what all options are available while doing your research. I believe this is a far better option for me. And yeah, I'll be going for the yearly plans. So instead of monthly, because if I select monthly, this suddenly becomes $8.95 per month, right? Becomes slightly expensive. And that's why I'll be purchasing it for entire year. And it goes down to $2.95 per month. Let's go ahead and sign up. Now, as I said, that this plan offers a free domain and, and you can go ahead and add and buy a new domain for your business. If you already have a domain, simply click I already have a domain and you can add that domain to this hosting. Okay, you can add your existing domain to DreamHost uh, web server. Uh, but only remember that whenever you purchase a domain from other website and hosting from another website, what you need to do is you get name servers from your web hosting server okay whenever you purchase a web server hosting you get name servers in your email simply copy those name servers they are uh, mostly two or three name servers uh, you will see something like ns1.dreamhost.com something on those lines okay ns2.dreamhost.com ns3.dreamhost.com what you need to do is you need to copy these three name servers okay you need to log into the panel from where you have bought that domain so for example if you have bought the domain from godaddy simply log into godaddy and there you will find your domain and there will be an option which says manage domain simply click manage domain and somewhere you will find an option to change name servers 
click change name servers and copy the name servers of dreamhost copy the name servers provided to you by dreamhost and paste it in your godaddy's account okay in in your godaddy's account that means now that domain is linked to this server with the help of name servers okay so the domain that you have bought from godaddy or it can be from any other website the domain that you have bought or you already had with you is now hosted on the web hosting which is provided by dreamhost okay and the linking is done with the help of name servers in my case i'm going to purchase a new one and the new one is going to be from dreamhost so i don't have to change the name servers right because i'm you because i'm purchasing the web hosting and the domain from dreamhost itself the name servers are going to be the same i don't have to make any changes okay so i'll go ahead and click register a new domain if you need time to think about a domain simply go ahead and choose a domain later okay that is also possible i'll go ahead and register a new domain and here you have option to find to find or to research your domains and to see if they are available or not can you see example.com written over here so whatever domain you have in mind uh, whatever you name you want to assign to your business and just put it over here and see if that is available also you can try a variety of tlds top level domains uh, like .com .in if uh, if the domain name that you have in mind is not available in .com then try and see if it is available in dot, uh, dot .in or dot .org or there are many other tlds in the market uh, something that is gaining a lot of popularity is dot .io as well i have a domain in mind let me just go ahead and enter that domain name so the domain name that i have in mind is schoolofscholar.com let's check if it is available it says congrats school of scholar is available and i can add it for zero as i said this web hosting offers free domain so add for zero dollars once you land on this page it will ask you to make the payment so you have two options one is to use either your credit or debit card or you can make the transaction through paypal as well after you add the card details or the paypal id simply scroll down and you will find the billing information section here you'll have to enter your billing address your country your province city and the zip code and then you will click add credit card button also please note that at the bottom you have the actual amount that you will be charged once you add your card details and the um, and the address or business details simply click add credit card button so it says that the card has been added successfully and uh, i'll scroll down and go ahead and add my account details over here basically my gmail id so I added my Gmail ID and my phone number over here. Now further, it will present you with some additional add-ons or options. Uh, so these are not mandatory and actually to a certain extent, these are not even required. Uh, like pre-installed WordPress, this is for free. So you don't need to check it and I'm not do going to do it because I want to show it how to do it manually. Uh, Dream Shield protection is uh not needed so not needed right now but uh, yes if you need it then there are plenty of wordpress plugins that offer the same for free so uh, let's ignore it for time being so this seo toolkit is more of a seo plan that um, dreamhost offers you and this is almost similar to uh, all the businesses and it is not tailor made only for your website your business and that's why i would suggest that you don't go with this so uncheck this as well and it does offer a 30 day trial period for google workspace so i don't need it right now maybe in the future i might but it is not needed right now so i'm simply going to make the transaction of 34.4 dollars and yeah if you 30 35.4 dollars if you click this 
you will see a panel which uh, offers or which gives a breakdown of everything that you have done so far so i'm choosing a shared unlimited plan and i'm paying yearly and uh, domain privacy is included that means my name email id phone number will be hidden from marketing companies after i purchase the domain and the hosting uh, this is the domain that i have bought for free schoolofscholar.com and and i can go ahead and change the domain as well if i change my mind uh, but it also shows that this is free right now but when i renew it next year so i can renew it for 17.99 dollars a year and i have not chosen these options or any of the add-ons and so the total pricing comes down to 35 dollars instead of 91 dollars i am just paying 35 dollars which is a very good deal let's go ahead and submit the order it says my account has been created billing added domain added wow Now it is asking me to create or to set a password for this account. So let me just go ahead and set a password. So I have set the password for this account and continue to your control panel. Now control panel is also called as C panel that you get once you buy any web hosting. And this is uh, this is offered by every web hosting company out there, be it DreamHost, be it Bluehost or SiteGround. Whenever you make the transaction, you get a control panel or a c panel let's click continue to your control panel let's let's click continue to your control panel and that's it this is the interface and we have just completed everything the transaction um, the customization we have bought a domain we have got free domain free ssl certificate free domain email ids and this is how the interface of dream host looks like also as you can see that uh, there's a, a progress bar over here which says finalizing setup. So there are still a few things that are going on at the back end. And once that is done, I'm sure you'll be able to navigate through the interface quite easily. You can see that the setup is complete now. And over here, you'll see the message which says setup has completed successfully and you can now manage your new website. So managing a website from uh, from the back end that is from the C panel, which is provided by DreamHost is very, very easy. As you can see, they have such a beautiful, such a simple and clutter free interface, which makes the navigation very easy. It makes finding the right option very easy, very, very fast. If you scroll down, you will see options which say install WordPress. So this is the option, uh, especially this button, which we use to install WordPress on the domain. Okay, right now there is nothing on the domain, the domain which we have just bought, that is schoolofscholar.com. Let's just click this arrow and you will see that I just have an empty domain. It says www.schoolofscholar.com, but there's absolutely no content, right? It is asking me to go back to the admin panel, which is the same panel. Or if I need any help, then I can simply get in touch with the customer support of DreamHost. So because we haven't installed WordPress and because we haven't installed any SSL certificate, you are seeing this black blank interface and you're seeing this not secured option. Once we install the SSL certificate, instead of not secured, you will see HTTPS with a green padlock over here. Let's go back and let me just scroll down to show you a few other options. So from here, as I said, we can install WordPress. From this section, we can create the domain email IDs, right? So now I can create something like info at the rate schoolofscholar.com or support at the rate schoolofscholar.com. I can do that. I can manage the files or various folders of my website from here. Let me remind you that a website is nothing but a folder on the server. And uh, yeah, you can manage your database from this section. Uh, if you're not from a technical background, I suggest stay away from these two folders, folder one and folder two, that is the file manager folder and the database M, uh, MySQL folder. Uh, but yes, in order to have the domain email ID, choose this option. And in order to install WordPress, choose this option. Now, obviously, if you uh, want to get in touch with the customer support, if you face any uh, issues, then you can simply click support and get in touch with uh, people from 
dream host in addition to this what i'm going to do is i'm going to start installing wordpress now so let's click install wordpress now also if you have any issues or any queries i believe there's a video or a setup guide to installing wordpress just go through it once meanwhile uh, this is still loading or installing what i what i'll do is i'll log into my gmail account and i'm going to verify my email address from here okay so let me just verify it uh, uh, okay and because i verified it just a few seconds back and that's why it says that it has already been verified okay so what you need to do is you need to check your mailbox for verification link because we created a new account in uh, dreamhost and it is trying to verify our uh, credentials and everything so let's just close this and go back so it is still installing and the process is yes the process is done just now and it says log into wordpress let me just refresh this url and see what has happened let's try refreshing and see if there is any change yeah can you see it says just another wordpress site so wordpress has been installed and right now it looks a very simple bland website in fact it doesn't even look like a website and it looks very horrible so don't worry everything is about to change in a few minutes uh, but before that we need to take care of a few other things as well let's go back and i need to set a um, login id and password to my website to this website so it says open wordpress editor so you can simply click this button and it should take you to the back end okay now before it takes us to the website schoolofscholar.com it's saying that suspicious page blocked for your protection my antivirus is uh, is not allowing me to visit this website why because ssl certificate is not yet installed can you see it says not secure google chrome upfrontly says that this uh, the browser upfrontly says that this domain is not secure so i need to install ssl certificate and that's another beauty or benefit of ssl certificate having an ssl certificate uh, brings in that trust factor and people trust your website not just people but uh, antiviruses as well and if you are not using any ssl certificate then people might not be able to access your website and you will lose very 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 valuable website traffic people will just bounce off from this page they'll simply click to take me back to safety and exit your website so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install the ssl certificate first so let's go back and inside website inside websites section you will find secure certificates let's go to secure certificates it's a school of scholar certificate is by let's encrypt and it expires on this particular date simply go to settings enable automatic https it says success we have updated your automatic https setting for school of scholars.com you may need to clear the cache so let's go back to the website and here we can see not secure let's refresh the page once or you can try clearing the cache so that you get the updated one as you can see that we have got the padlock over here and we also have https now if you click on the padlock it says that connection is secure let's click and you can simply click here to learn more about this but it says this site has a valid certificate issued by a trusted authority this means information such as passwords or credit card credit cards will be securely sent to this site and cannot be intercepted which is very good so let's go back and the website is now secure so what i can do is i can try refreshing this page and now i can directly go to the dashboard and this is how the back end of my website looks like with the domain at the top and the https secured 
protocol over here and we have a few options on the left and a few on the right and these are some uh, options or some uh, functionality that i have got by default like all in one seo it's not needed um, as i said that uh, every website uh, has its own seo strategies so this is not needed right now and let's go back to the panel to dreamhost interface and now that we are done with this let's go back to home section now once uh, wordpress and the uh, rest of the things are installed and you are done with it what you need to do is we haven't set a password to the wordpress interface yet right so if you want to make any changes to your wordpress website you need access to its backend and the backend of any wordpress website can can be accessed by default using this email id which is www.thedomain.com/wp-admin or wp login okay uh, similar to this one wp-admin now in order to set the password they have sent me this link via email in order to log in for the first time you will need to click this link to set password this is the link so first let me just go back and log out from the interface not this one but this one let's log out from here what i will do is let's go to the email click this link to set a password it says new password and you can save this password or you can enter your own password let's click save password and all we have to do is hit the login link to access the backend of the website so usually this is how we access the backend of the website simply put in your domain name that is www.school of caller.com slash wp dash admin sorry i'll have to change this to school of my mistake of caller.com slash wp dash admin this is the default admin uh, url once you do that this is the screen that you will find simply enter your username so i already have my username that is my email address or i can use this as well let me try login using my email id and i will enter the password i will enter the password and hit login and that's it that is how you access the backend of your website you make changes to the backend and they'll get reflected in the front end now how do you go from the backend to the front end so can you see just another wordpress site written over here simply click this and it will take you to the front end of the website this is the front end of the website which actually doesn't look like a word uh, like a website yet but that's about to change okay Uh, let's go back and you should always have two tabs open one for the back end and other one for the front end so basically you can make changes over here at the back end you can publish content from pages or posts and then you can view those changes at the front end over here